day everyone i am judith to be higaboon today we are going to discuss about open loop control and its conceptual model first what is open loop control open loop control is a system of subconscious control that does not use our reference feedback ito yung mga rapid movements within sports such as throwing a dart Use open control as there is no conscious thought involved. Kumbaga, ang open loop control ay hindi siya nagpo-produce ng feedback and it can be altered if an unpredictable change arises. And it's ballistic skill. And open loop control is discrete skill. Like for example, throwing a dart. When throwing a dart, once the performer has begun performing the skill there is nothing they can do to adjust it because the movement is too fast control is then passed to the effector mechanism for movement execution here the motor program is delivered to, to the spinal cord and then to the muscle where contraction take place if the resulting action sample the bat swing to just the intended outcome con contact with the ball. A change in the environment occur the path of the ball changes. In, in this type of open loop control system, the motor program determine which muscles should contract. Motor program, ito yung pattern of movement stored in a long term memory. So yung motor so yung motor program mo, determine which muscle should contract as well as the order and timing of that contraction. Like for example, in the bat swing, your motor program determine which determine kung gaano mo kalakas papaluin yung ball the stages of processing are used to develop the motor program by determining the action to be initiated and to some extent the, the eventual form of the movement sample the speed and trajectory of a swing so i discussed the conceptual model so in diagram of typical open loop control is consist consists of essentially two parts so sa may open loop control Diagram, meron siyang dalawang parts. Ito yung tinatawag na executive and the effector. Effector, ito yung eh, executive, ito yung mga stimulus identification, response selection, response programming. Ito yung the stages of information processing. Dito yung magdi-decide ka, decision made about the action to be taken. And yung effector, ito yung mga motor program, spinal cord muscle. Yung ito yung ito naman yung mga motor program and peripheral motor system. So, comparator compare expected feedback from the desired state to the to exteroceptive and proprioceptive feedback from the actual state and relay any difference to the executive as input input being delivered to the to the executive this input is then processed and a decision is made about the action to be taken including stimulus identification and response programming instruction regarding to the production of the action are the transmit to the effector including motor program, spinal cord, and the muscle. Una is the motor program. Kumbaga, masis, yung pattern of movement masisave sa long-term memory mo and then magda-transmit siya o dadan siya sa spinal cord then yung muscle naman, siya yung magdadala ng lahat. Once the action is complete, the open loop system work is finished without feedback. The system is unaware of whether the action was successful is achieving the environmental goal modification to the action are not made while movement is progress. 
to really understand the conceptual model, I have an example. Hitting pitch baseball. So, dito po pasok yung comparator which is compare expected feedback from the desired state to extraceptive and proprioceptive feedback from the actual state and lay any difference to the executive being. Hitting pitch baseball. Then, then i-evaluate niya muna yung environment in the stimulus identification stage. Sa, sa stimulus identification stage, ipaprocess niya yung mga, in, mga information na gagawin mo o yung action na gagawin, gagawin mo yung speed and direction of the ball. And then, the decision about whether or not swing is made and response selection. Then, the movement is programmed and initiated in the movement programming stage. And which detail about the swing, speed, speed traje trajectory, and timing are determined. And then, after non e, ma ma after non is passed to the effector. Yung effector, ito yung motor program, spinal cord, and the muscle. So, the, the selected motor program now carries out to the swing by, the river, by, by delivering commands to the spinal cord which directed the operation of the skeletal system involved in the swing. This movement then influence the outcome resulting in desired movement. Three lines of evidence for motor programs. Number one is the action time and movement complexity. The, in, the interval times that elapses from the presentation of an ant anticipated stimulus to the beginning of first zone response. This evidence comes from analysis movement reaction time conducted by Henry and Rogers 1960. Here, movement reaction time depended on the complexity of the response because reaction time measurement begins when stimulus appear and ends when the movements. Number two, evidence is the orientation experiment. A surgical procedure in which an afferent sensory pathway is cut for preventing nerve impulses from the periphery from reaching the spinal cord. The result, the result of early Lashley and Morrison, Taub, and Berman, their orientation research have shown that movements are possible without sensory feedback. From the responding limb, some movements such as involved in climbing, swinging, are controlled without feedback. Number three, evidence is effect of mechanically blocking a limb. A third line of evidence supporting motor program control comes from experiment in which individual are instructed to make a quick limb action. Sample moving a lever to target position as rapidly as possible. The third, evid the, the third line evidence suggests that sensory information processing is too slow for effective movement to movement control in rapid movement system that uses pans produce feedback is delivered too much. The EMG Patterns for the black movement are almost identical to those for the normal movements for 100 milliseconds or so on, and then are modified during the later portion of the movement. The important point is that the antagonist muscle is switched on at the proper time even through the feed feedback from the responding limb was disrupted. This suggests that, that the patterning of the EMG was structured before the movement and was carried out in an open loop process at least until the reflective could exert an, an influence. In the case of rapid movements, 
Open loop controls allows the motor system to organize an entire action ahead of time. So if we say rapid movement, it is a acting or moving quickly in a short interval of time. So yung motor system, ito yung nag-organize sa paggalaw natin. Because motor system, it is a system controls our body movements. These are some particular muscles that are need to produce the action. First, the order in which the muscles are to be activated. Dapat alam natin kung saang part ng muscle yung papaganahin natin. At ito ay naaayon sa actions na dagagawin natin. Halimbawa, kung tayo ay tatalon, ano nga bang muscles yung papaganahin natin? Siyempre yung nasa lower, yung binti natin. The relative forces of the various muscle contraction. If we say muscle contraction, it is a strengthening or compressing our muscle. Kung gaano yung kwersa na binibigay natin dun sa muscle na nakakonstruct or nakakompress. The relative timing and sequencing of this contraction. Ito naman ang tumutukoy sa tamang tempo at pagkaasunod-sunod kung paano natin ipokontract yung muscle natin. The duration of the respective contraction. Ito ang tinutukoy naman ito kung gaano natin katagal na contract or na-compress yung muscle natin. Halimbawa, sa legs natin, sa arms. This order of muscular activity may sound straight, but it's really quite smart for the motor system to operate this way. Since the shoulder muscles are mechanically linked to the rest of the body, their contraction affects the posture. The motor system take care of the potential problem by programming the appropriate posture modification. First, rather than requiring the body to make adjustments after the beginning to move. Example is this video. You can see the guy lifting a dumbbell since his shoulder linked to the rest of his body, the legs and his shoulder. The contraction affects the posture. If there is no appropriate postural modification and the guy lifts his dumbbell, he can lose his balance. So because of the motor system, he take care of the potential problem and the motor system organized where the part of the muscle will contract to do the action and also the timing on how to lift the dumbbell. There is a good evidence that this preparatory postural adjustment are really just part of the motor programs for arms movement. According to WALI 1980, when arms movement are organized, the motor program contains instruction to adjust posture and then move the arm so that the action is performed as coordinated as whole. Sa paggalaw ng ating kamay, Ito ay bahagi ng motor program Dahil ang motor program ay ang rep representasyon ng galaw o paggawa ng aksyon sa ating katawan Kung ang paggalaw ng, ang, ng bahagi ng ating katawan ay naaayon sa kilos Dahil sa motor program, ang ibang parte ng ating katawan ay nagre-react Halimbawa na lang sa pagbubuhat ng mabibigat Ang kailangan lang natin gamitin yung shoulder natin Pero kung mabigat yung bubuhatin natin, mag a yung ibang part ng katawan natin Like yung back natin and legs para mag, ma, maisagawa natin yung kilos ng mas maayos. Ito ang purpose ng motor program. Center Pattern Generator The idea of the motor program is similar to the concept of Central Pattern Generator, which proposed to explain certain features of repetitive action, such as locomotions in animals, swimming in fish, chewing in hamster, and slithering in snake by Gilner 1975. Neutral network in spinal cord, referred to as central pattern generator, are capable of producing rhythmic movement, such as swimming, walking, and hoping, even when isolated from the brain and sensory inputs. Integrations of center organizations and feedback control. Reflex and reversal phenomenon, a special case of reflex activity, involving the different responses to tactile stimulus depending on the pace of the movement in which the stimulus is introduced. A simple network of neurons that could result in alternating flexor and extensor muscle movements in activities, like locomotion such as network, could form the basics of central pattern generators. In addition to controlling the leg motion during locomotion, the CPG can inhabit or enable flexion and extension reflex depending on the pace of the step cycles. Motor programs and the conceptual model. 
Motor program also assists performs in the regulating many degrees of freedom in their movements. The concept of degree of freedom, which will define early in this chapter, pertain to the components of the motor system and all the way in which each of the components can function. For the example, the motor program for a cricket shot store, the subroutines in the correct order, the stand, grip, place, placement, backswing, and follow through. Manage motor, the degrees programs of freedom along within feedback movement control. So it is said that motor programs operate within time motor system, sometimes in conjunction with feedback to manage the degrees of freedom of movements and produce flexible, skilled actions. Just like for example, bouncing back and forth, this is what we call feedback in movement. The major roles of motor programs include the following. The first one is to define and issue the commands that ultimately determine which muscles to contact when and how forcefully to specify and initiate prelimin preliminary postural adjustments that performers need to support the upcoming action. Or in, in other words, is what we call vuelo. The force we inserted in a movement in order to reach the goal of the movement, for example, playing baseball, we need coordination of our mind and body to focus on the goal of the movement, which is to hit the ball. So the second one is to, mod to modulate the many reflex pathways in order to ensure that the movement goal is achieved. Meaning of this, one of the major roles of motor programs is to change or distinguish the reflective pathways that can affect the movements and to ensure that the movement goal is achieved. The last one is the Bernstein or dynamical perspective. Dynamic systems theory is called self-organization, meaning that the human motor system is capable of spontaneously adjusting itself under certain controlled conditions. Shall I say balance? We have to control ourselves, specifically in the motor system, because it is step to achieve the goal of movement. Just like for example, you need to cross the bridge to get to the other side, but the problem is the bridge is made up of bamboo trees. That's why you need to balance your body to cross the bridge. It is a coordination of our body movement and especially our mind.